The ollie is a staple of modern skateboarding tricks, and in this episode of Skateboarding for Dummies, I'm going to show you how to do the best ollie, and I'm going to teach you two tricks that helped me make my ollies go from two inches off the ground to over a foot and a half. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, we're back in the workshop today because the cars just decided to be very loud outside today. Uh, so, yeah. I wanted to start this video off just by kind of introducing what the Ollie is and then techniques to help you with that. And then we're going to get into the two things that helped me the most in learning the Ollie. And two things I think can help a lot of you because there's a lot of information out there. Not a lot of them really mention these specific things. So hopefully it's helpful. So like I said, the ollie is a staple of modern skateboarding. It is how you get the board from being on the ground to jumping up. But one thing I really want to stress about the ollie is you're not jumping on your board. It looks like you're jumping, but you're not jumping. I think once you get that wrapped around your head, it may make the trick easier because it's a way to get up off of the ground, but you're using your legs and foot motions to do that. So the basic motion of the ollie is you have your back foot on the tail and your front foot somewhere around the bolts or maybe a little bit back from the bolts on the front of the board. You're gonna kind of jump up, but while you're jumping up, you push down on the tail, pops the front of the board up. As you're getting into the air, you take your foot, push it forward on the board to level it out, and then you come down. Sounds simple, but trust me, it's not. <laughs> So if you're having trouble with the ollie, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you don't feel like like you, you just can't get it to get off the ground at all when you try it, most likely you're just not comfortable enough on your board. And there are definitely a few things you can do to help this. Number one would be just get out and ride your board as much as possible. Ride your board, get comfortable with it, you know, learn how to carve back and forth with it. Just practice enough so that when you ride your board, it just feels like an extension of your legs. It doesn't feel like this weird object you're on, but it feels like part of you. Another tip would be maybe try learning to shove it just to practice getting your feet to do tricks and stuff. The shove it, um, not the pop shove it, but the regular shove it. It's, it's pretty simple to learn. I'll probably have a tutorial out on that in the near future. If you're struggling a lot with the ollie but you feel comfortable on the board, it could just be you need to get your feet and your legs more involved in these tricks. So learning the shove it could definitely help with that. All right, and now for my two big tips that will help you do the ollie, and then we'll kind of show you how to do the ollie using these tips. All right, tip number one, guys. Immediately after jumping on the board during the ollie, you need to shoot your back foot up as high as it can possibly go. Because here's the thing, your board is only going to go as high as your back foot lets it. Doesn't matter if your front foot's going way up here if your back foot's down here. Your board is not going to go up if you can't get your back foot up. Your back foot, getting your back foot up is like 200% more important than getting your front foot up. Who keeps opening the door? So if you're struggling with getting your ollies up, definitely work on getting that back foot up. All right, and tip number two, this is the tip. This is the ultimate, ultimate tip that really helped me go from tiny ollies to huge ollies. You ready? Your front foot, when you pop the board on the ollie and you're going up and people tell you to take your front foot and slide it up the board, do not do that. What I want you to do is to take your toe and take your toe and sort of scoop the front of the board up. I'm trying to think if there's, how can I demonstrate this? Here's your board, piece of wood. Here's my back foot, here's my front foot, okay? The board's riding, you know, you're going along. Push, you push down with your back foot, your back foot immediately comes up. The board's going up, here's, here's my front foot, right? I'm gonna kind of pull it up over the tail and then push it down. I'm not gonna take my foot and just slide it up. I'm gonna like go with it and then push it down right at the tip of the board with my toe. Doing that and having your back foot way up high is going to get the board to level up like level out like this, which is what you want because it's going to be up like this, getting over your obstacle. You're going to take your toe, scoop it down, and then the back foot is going to get over your obstacle and then it's going to come down. I see a lot of videos online, especially from big skateboard YouTube channels like Braille Skateboarding, which they do great stuff, but they always tell you to take your front foot and just kind of slide it up on the side. And that's never worked for me. I don't know why, it just does not work for me. I get really small ollies. You wanna take your toe and just scoop and push with the tip of your toe right over that board. Some people may say, well, how does that exactly work? Because don't you use your toe for the kickflip? Aren't I just gonna spin the board? Well, no, because the kickflip, 
involves taking your toe, bringing it up, and then flicking your ankle. With the ollie, there's no ankle flick involved. It's a smooth up motion and then pushing down. You're not flicking your ankle to any side. And this has just honestly made my ollie so much better and it really made me feel like I was improving and getting better. So I really urge you to try this out if you're having problems getting your ollies higher. Finally, with all that information out there into your minds, I'm gonna teach you step-by-step step how I do the ollie. So, put your board on the ground. Put your feet on the board. Front foot may be on the bolts or a little bit behind it. Back foot, just have it right on the tail, like kind of half off the edge almost on the tail. You're gonna stand there, you're gonna crouch down with your knees, you're gonna push up and hit that tail really hard with your toe, but as soon as you push down really hard with your toe, you're gonna shoot that leg straight up into the air. Your front foot's gonna go up as well. As the board starts angling so that your front foot is higher than your back foot, you're gonna take your toe, slide it up the very middle of the board, do the little scooping push motion with your toe, keep your back foot really raised high until you get the board leveled where you want it, and then you push down. And it's really that simple. It sounds simple, it is simple, but in practice it's really not simple. So even with these tips, you're gonna have to practice a lot. I'm not expecting anybody to get it immediately, so get out there, practice as much as you can, and I know everybody's got this, okay? But seriously, if you're having trouble, try out these tips. Really hope they help. If you wanna send me videos of you learning the Ollie, I would love to see them. So if you wanna post a video of it, just put it on Instagram or something and at me and I'll check it out. Maybe leave you a comment or something. Um, if you have any other questions about the Ollie, cause I realized that this is kind of a quick video and I probably didn't cover everything. Drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you within 24 hours usually. Anyways, it has been your boy OG Den with another Skateboard for Dummies tutorial. Hopefully you liked the video, hopefully you learned something and used these tips wisely. With that being said, I'm gonna head out and we got a banger video on Wednesday involving keeping your boards in pristine condition and you're not gonna wanna miss it, so definitely hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. I am out. Peace.